friends, good morning. <laughs> I'm the Courtney Williams. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, it's super, super early in the morning, guys. I mean, well, it's like 6.15, which is early for me. Um, we're still at the homestay. Oh, my God. It was so freaking comfortable last night. I was nervous because... When we were on um, the bus, the tour guide was telling us that we were going to have like a bunch of mosquitoes and stuff. And I've stayed at homestays before and we did. And here it was really good. Like I was super comfortable. We had the nets around the bed, but I didn't feel anything even when we were outside having dinner last night. And it was so good. I mean, this has been a really great experience. And everybody that I've met so far has just been, you know, amazing. So I'm excited. Like... I'm excited. This morning, we are going to go to, I think we're going to take a boat back to the Mekong Delta because we got to the homestay on a boat, which was so cool. So we got to meet up with everybody else on our tour who like, cause they had the option of either, either staying at the homestay or staying at the hotel and everybody else stayed at the hotel. So we got to meet back up with everybody. And then we're going to go to the floating market, which is like a big deal at the Mekong Delta. So I'm super excited. And then I think we're headed back to um, Ho Chi Minh City. I believe we might be like two, three hours away from it. And then from there, I'm going to the airport because I'm going to Bangkok to see Jasmine. So I'm super excited. I think her birthday is Monday. So we just kind of going to turn up for the next few days. <laughs> and then I'll go back to Hanoi and get back to work and stuff. But I just wanted to say hey real quick before we have breakfast because I just am feeling really good. It's like the sun is out. It's pretty. And I also have to show you guys like the little river. Like it looks really nice. guys so we just left the floating market at the Mekong Delta it was really cool to see how they like drive up to boats so that they can sell you different things 
now i'm not sure exactly where we are now but i know he said that we're going to see how they make the rice noodles so that is going to be super exciting So we're going to try, I'm not sure, oh she said it's deep fried noodles, it has a little bit of some kind of herb, some kind of sauce, chili sauce. It's like very crunchy, I mean it tastes like those shoestring fries, if you guys have ever had the really skinny um, shoestring chips. It tastes like that. So now we're about to head to the fruit garden. An says that they have durian there as well as jackfruit. And y'all know I love, love, love the jackfruit, the jackfruit chips. So, hi. Hi. How are you? Y'all remember our tour guy from yesterday? He got a new family. He act like he don't know us no more. I got the new family. Yay! Later, later. So that's the durian fruit, guys, that is hanging off the tree. But I don't think that that one, that those are quite ripe yet. Oh my God, it's very, uh, like you gotta be careful when you first try to touch it because it can poke you. It's like almost kind of sharp on the outer out of skin so this is the jackfruit guys this is my first time seeing it in it's like normal form but I'm excited to taste it guys they got the pineapple growing oh my god and the dragon fruit i've never seen it grown before isn't that interesting it kind of like hangs out so she was saying that this is a fruit as well and you said it's called what ma fai ma fai but she doesn't know how to pronounce it in english yeah is it kind of like an apple yeah it's a it's is this those small little apples that they sell yeah, yeah, it's a today. That you see, it's the yellow one. Ah, uh, I think I remember. Yeah, yeah. I think I remember. I'm so ready to try some fruit, guys. I 
all right guys so we're about to get back on the boat i think this is kind of the end of our trip we still are going to stop for lunch and then we head back i mean i'm so tired <laughs> i'm so so tired that getting up before six kind of worked on my spirit a bit We are gonna get some food and then we're gonna head back to Ho Chi Minh City. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so hungry. Oh my god, my stomach. I'm very, very, very hungry. Okay, I mean, I'm a thick girl. Girls like to eat Texas girls. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it fried wrap with onions on the menu? I can't. I cannot. Y'all, everybody's leaving. Well, they're doing the three day, two day tour. And I only did the two days, so they're leaving. They're gonna go to the forest, right? Yeah. They're going to like the boat forest. It was so pretty, but next time. I'm gonna miss you guys. Bye. Hey, boos. I'm so sleepy. Um, we just took another stop. Well, this is the only stop that we're gonna take on the way back, just to kind of give us a breather, and then we still have about three hours. I got this, I don't know, some little ice cream popsicle, and she got something that's really good. I think that's the corn juice. Yeah, I don't know if I was feeling that corn juice. Oh my god, y'all, look at my freaking scarf. I mean, I don't think it looks that bad on camera, but it looks really bad to me in person. But I think it's healing because it's starting to dry. Yeah, I think it's healing because it's starting to dry. So, I don't know. I just got my pillow and my scarf out of the back, and I'm finna go back to sleep after I eat my pasta. Girl, you got so much stuff, girl. Y'all, she got a bag of things. You know where it's not the bag. What is that? Like, there is like the wine. Oh, like, oh, she got the wine. Before. We had the coconut so wine real last, last night. night, and she got some more. So yeah, we'll see you guys when we get into Hanoi. I mean, I mean, we're not going to Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh. When we get to Ho Chi Minh, we will see you guys then. <laughs> well, I will, and then they leaving, and I'm going to the airport. back in Ho Chi Minh and we actually got here in like really good time because it's only like four o'clock and I thought we was gonna get here about six so I'm gonna use this time to go to the Bin Thang market so that I can exchange some money and then I might look around a little bit get some dominoes because it's been a minute since I beat somebody ass on these bones <laughs> so and Jasmine I think she played you know she from America as well I think she plays and I think it's kind of fun sometimes to kind of you know teach foreigners or teach people from other countries how to play like fun games that you used to play when you were growing up so I'm excited I came in here so that I could um, you know use the Wi-Fi well, I came to the coffee place, but then I went to the restroom and I saw it was this little cute restaurant upstairs. So hopefully it's a blessing. I just got some grilled pork with rice, like something simple. So it should be good. Y'all, let me find out the 
that that was like a little hidden gem. I mean, I didn't realize that Bill Clinton had came and ate there, but it was definitely a very a great decision because <laughs> that pork was good as hell, okay? I mean, like I thought I was kind of playing it safe with getting the pork instead of, they had this other noodle dish that I can't, um, that I can't name, but I thought I was kind of playing it safe, but baby, when I tell you it blessed my entire soul, my whole soul is blessed. One time for Jesus. <laughs> I'm at the airport. I mean, I feel like I got here in record time. I think I have uh, like over two hours before um, they start to board. So I'm ready. I mean, like I already messaged um, Jasmine and I'm meeting up with like two of my subscribers. So I'm very, very, very excited. So I am gonna end the vlog here. It's been a very long day. The next time you guys will see me, I will be in Bangkok. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, remember, people will stare and make it worth their while. And I'll see you guys later.